Definition. An example paragraph gives examples so that the reader clearly understands the writer's ideas about a topic. There are three key areas, such as topic sentence, supporting sentences, and concluding sentence. Under topic sentence, the first sentence introduces the topic. It also includes the controlling idea of what the writer will say about the topic. The supporting sentences are the middle sentences that give examples that support the controlling idea. These examples give a clear picture of the writer's specific meaning. The last sentence of the paragraph restates the topic and what the writer has said about it. Read the student paragraph. Why is the title like a mule? The paragraph is about the author. The author is stubborn like a mule. Who in the paragraph is like a mule? The author of the paragraph is like a mule. Let's look at the model example paragraph, like a mule. I am a stubborn person. My friends and relatives are sure about this because they have experience with me. For example, I do not take advice from other people. When I was looking for work, I had to make a choice between two jobs. My mother and my husband wanted me to take a job in a child care center, but I did not like it. I was stubborn and I did not take their advice. I took a different job at a bookstore. Also, I do not change my mind easily. For example, when I bought my car, I wanted it in white. The car dealer had all the other colors, green, gold, blue, even red. I said no. And we went to a different dealer on the freeway about 50 miles away. They had the car in white. Now I am driving a white car. Also, I always defend my opinions. For example, I do not like the wife of my husband's friend. She is a mean person. And I told her what I thought of her. So we do not spend time together as couples. My life is not always easy. But I am proud to be a strong and stubborn woman. Exercise 4A, page 57. What are the three main ways in which the author is stubborn? She does not take advice. She does not change her mind easily. And she defends her opinions. Number two, why does the author say her life is not easy? Other people might get upset because she says what she thinks. Examine the organization of the paragraph by answering the following questions below. Exercise 4b, page 57. Question number one, circle the topic and underline the controlling idea. As we can see, the answer is I am a stubborn person. But what is the topic? It is I. And what is the controlling idea? am a stubborn person. Question 2. Read the second sentence. What do you expect the supporting details to describe? The supporting details will give examples of ways that she is stubborn. Exercise 4b, page 57. Question 3. How many examples does the author give? She gives three main examples. She did not take advice about a job. She did not change her mind about the color she wanted and she told her opinion of a woman she did not like. Write one example that shows the author's stubbornness. She insisted on buying a white car even though it was inconvenient and she had to drive very far to get it. Do all the supporting sentences support the topic sentence? Yes. Question 6. Underline the concluding sentence twice. My life is not always easy, but I am proud to be a strong and stubborn woman. Question 7. What does the author add to the concluding sentence which is not there in the topic sentence? She tells her feelings about being stubborn. Question 8. In your opinion, does the author like being stubborn? Answer. The author likes being stubborn. She feels that it is a sign of strength. No one can make her change.